All right, Shalom, Shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great, which is America. First off and foremost, our praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Jelly, I'm doing the video. Y'all go somewhere. All right, <clears throat> Salakia. <clears throat> um, double honors to thee, all the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Um, just tuning in on the uh, Elder Brothers and uh, GMS Dallas video, and this guy's a this guy they dealing with. Like niggas like this ain't got no faith, man. All right, and when I say faith, you have to have understanding to believe in, in certain things or to actually get it. All right, so listen to what this guy says, man. The same way spread across the four corners of the earth. We teach that. Then why that? For example, right? You say we got brothers and sisters in Africa, we got brothers and sisters in China, we got brothers and sisters in Japan. If they see this, that's going to turn them away. They not on here. We they got, got brothers that are Africans that are in the camp. So how, how do you? How do you, how do you See, he, he points to the side and say, this is not true. We got people in Africa scattered. Listen, James 101, all Israel scattered abroad. All right? It, hey, Israel was getting it's, it's scattered after we left Egypt. We, hey, Jake was going everywhere, man. Okay? When Jake was going off into these heathen, hey, Samaria and all that. Dealing with the other nations, what the fuck you think they was doing? They was popping the other nations. And then, you know, like in, in Nehemiah, they start believing that, that shit. So if you do that after a certain amount of generations, Israel, the speckled bird, is going to look like every other nation on planet Earth. But see, you niggas have a problem with the sign. Dude, that's ridiculous, man. I mean, they got brothers from West Africa, Nigeria. But we don't see them here, is what I'm saying. We don't see them here. But the spirit drew them to it, and they got the breakdown. So you, so when you say that, then they're saying, you know, this ain't true. This is this is the part of truth, because we know we are, we are in all of these places. All I'm just saying is, we everywhere. But that, but that alienates that people that's but everywhere, the bulk of prophecy we, we in the latter days deals with the Israelites on the northwestern hemisphere. Okay. All right, in this hemisphere. But we, we now ahead, we do ahead. teach according to prophecy that the Israelites are scattered all throughout the four corners of the earth. Now, do you do you think that that alienates? I, we I say we. Like I said, hey, if you have the elect, no matter how you look, the spirit is going to give it to you, man. That these people ain't alienated. All right, they have faith and believe. All right. If you have faith the same as the seed of Abraham. So if they look like a another nation, that doesn't matter. That's not alienating nobody. First of all, we all was alienated from the commonwealth. Like Ephesians, the second chapter speaks about, man. We became uh, uh, Gentiles given away to idols like 1 Corinthians uh, uh, speaks of. Okay? And more importantly, I'm going to read it right here because I had posted it. All right, Romans 8 and 16, the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we're the children of the Most High. So if the scriptures, which is the spirit, all right, and then your spirit believe that the Israelites went through these things and you are Israelite because you're suffering suffering through a, a lot of these things and you truly believe in the word, because word, listen, the heathen ain't going to believe in this. It, it ain't meant for them, all right? Only the elect is going to believe in it. Then you got your assholes that know they're Israelites, but shit like this. Or shit about the bir uh, virgin birth or some other wayward doctrine, man. Or uh, the sign ain't right. So what is right then? This nigga ain't going to tell you what's correct. If that's the case, how do we know who the hell the heathens are? You know how, how we know who the heathens are? The spirit bears witness to that too. You saw did this, you saw, okay, that's the so-called white man. All right, China did this, and okay, that's so called Moabites. All right, Germany did this, so on and so forth with their different names. All right, uh, 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 the, the, the Gentile nations are, are, are pronounced in Genesis. Okay, so we do know who's who and what's what now through the spirit. Once again, through the spirit, if you look like another nation, but you accept this and you believe in it, and only your spirit, uh, only a spirit of an Israelite is actually going to do that, man. When you go to Revelations,
Revelation 7 and 13. Now you have the 12 from each, each tribe, man. Right? Whether they be Judah all, all the way down to Asher. All right? Verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What is these that's arrayed in, arrayed in white robes? And whence uh, come they? All right? These right ro ro robes were them that were of the elect. All right? After the 144,000, which are the prophets, the men. All right? He said unto me, why, why do you say, sir, thou knowest? Obviously, these Israelites didn't look like your everyday Israelites. All right. The same thing in Acts, the 10th chapter. Call no man unclean or uncommon. All right. And Peter gave me the law. He said, it's against the law for me to sit with somebody else from another nation. So obviously, this was a Hebrew Israelite foreigner. All right. You have Greeks and Grecians, man. All right. Simply put, simply put, Helen and Hellenis, uh, Hellenistes, all right? One was a Greek-speaking Jew that knew he was an Israelite. Hey, you have Acts, the second chapter, uh, uh, that goes into that. And then you have Israelites that didn't know they were Israelites. They just took on the Greek customs. Go read Maccabees. Or, or what about the wheat and tares? See, you niggas always got some shit to say, but you 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 can't go into the scriptures, man. And, and, and big up to you brothers that look like the other nations getting the work in, man. Because ain't no fucking heathen going to do that. The Lord said he ain't going to give his honor to another. This is why the spirit ain't dealing with niggas like this. That's the Nobody can be alienated because the spirit is the Holy Spirit decided. They can be alienated. Let me let me let me tell you what. If the Lord chose them to wake up, they're gonna wake up. All I'm no matter what we say or do. And everything Elder Yashawamba is saying is correct. This nigga is out his mind. Oh, that sign ain't right. So turn the sign around to the to the Gentile nations. Is that is, is that part right? You niggas never look at it from the other spectrum. It's all about, oh, that ain't right. We alien. We, listen, if anything, <laughs> we're gaining brothers that look like from the other nations, that look like they're from the other nations, all right? You got brothers within GMS or within this truth, within this doctrine that look like Edomites. But guess what? They're doing the work, which means they're Israelites. Then you got some dark skinned ass Edomites. You got some dark skinned ass Moabites. Hey, all the nations, this is the great Milton Pot. All the nations done been mixing and mingling amongst each other. Jake, after World War II, you know how many Israelites is in Italy right now that look like an Edomite? Or in Russia? Do you not know we ruled Europe during the Dark Ages? Who the hell you think those knights at the Templar and who, who the hell you think that was? Some of those men. Do you not know what the Renaissance is about? Hey, niggas are fools, man. The sheep shall hear his voice. I see when you, that's a carnal argument. See, when you, you dealing with the No, it's not. It's in the scriptures. This ain't in the scriptures. The 12th time in the scriptures, but this is only seen. Yeah, hold on. And this is all for edification sakes. Man. Nigga, move down the goddamn street, man. Through the spirit, hey, how yeah, about this? I'm going to this Gentile thing. But nigga, come on, man. It's, it's about the spirit, right? We don't judge no man by his outward appearance. Whether he look like an Israelite or he, he doesn't, man. It ain't about that, man. It's about the spirit. Your spirit bear witness to the spirit. All right. In the place that we're not called the children of the most high there, we should be called the children of the most high. All right. Over here in Babylon, the great, you got brothers that look like everything else, even amongst uh, 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 the brothers in Babylon, man. You got brothers here that looks like brothers from every other nation. You got one brother that's a Judite and a lot of niggas with scoffing think he a Moabite. Hey, but with that, you know, I ain't going to rent. Hey, 
With that, a all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yom Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to thee, all the apostles of great millstone, salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. A Bible ball.